Hey guys, this is a video that will teach you how to um, create any shape that requires a circular pattern. Um, so if you have a look here, we have a male and a female uh, shape. And if I go into a visual style, you'll get a better understanding of what we're doing here. Um, and I've created this, this interlocking pattern and they're all the same shape and it's, I've only had to draw it once and I've copied it around. I'll show you how we did that really quick right now. So if I click on new part, um, 2D sketch, select a surface, and now this is where you really need to pay attention. If you do not start your circle in the center dot there, which I tell you to on every drawing, you're gonna have big problems on this drawing. Finish sketch, I'm gonna extrude it 30 mil. And then from there, I'm going to start my next sketch, but I'm going to use one of these planes. So it's gonna be my XY plane. It might be different for yours, depending on what surface you selected. I'm gonna to go to view, visual style. I'm gonna go to wireframe so I can see exactly what I'm drawing. Now, if I start off by simply drawing a line out here, we'll just go, 2 mil at this stage and then I'll go back this way 4 mil that's got me a 4 mil line and then I'm going to go offset I'm going to offset that line down 3 mil I'm now going to finish off my little triangle piece which should be all good I'm going to finish the sketch extrude and it's at this point that if I select that feature I should be able to shoot out my shape both ways uh, which I have. We're going to tell it to cut and it's doing it 30 mils so it's cutting the whole way through which is good and I'm going to go okay so it's cut the whole way through for me awesome I'm now going to go pattern. The feature that I want to pattern is that extrusion. My rotational axes will come from one of these axes. So I'm hovering over the top until I figure it out. And as I hover over the Y, that white line appears. And I can um, left click and it gives me uh, an indication of what it's going to do. I might make it happen eight times. And so now I should get adjustments uh, in 45 degree increments, I'm pretty sure, um, which should work. And so if I go view, realistic, we can see that that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna call this the female part. <clears throat> and so if I go file, I'm then gonna go save as, just call it part three FM for my little demo today. I can then grab this part and I'm gonna go back into this extrusion, the one that created that feature. I'm gonna to go to the sketch. I'm gonna go view, visual style, realistic. Uh, no, not realistic, wireframe. Um, instead of creating the part again and trying to draw this to make it exactly the same. I know it's an easy shape for with an offset of three and a triangle. Um, just to make sure that I've got it exactly the same, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this feature. And so it's asking me to select the geometry. It's always talking to me down here. Now I'm going to select the mirror line. And if I click apply, it's done that for me, which is all good. Uh, and go done. I can then click on these lines and because uh, I'm on a Mac, I've got to do it the slow way. Click and delete each line. Um, I'll delete this line as well so the computer doesn't get confused. Now, when I click on finish sketch, the computer is probably going to have a little fit because, and I'm going to accept it, it's saying that 
you've drawn that and you've asked me to cut away. However, how can I cut away when there's nothing there? So just change it to add. And away you go. So view, visual style, realistic. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to change there goes the bell, um, the material here, so tools, material, I'll just change it to copper so that it stands out, cool, um, so that was the female one, this is the male one, so now I go file, save as, what do I go save then? Hopefully I didn't. Make sure you do a save as. Um, <clears throat> I might just go back. Ooh. When you do your second save, guys, make sure you've done a, um, a do a save as, not a save, and this way you get two different parts. I can now go into here and I'll do my assembly. If I place a part, we'll see what's happened. See if I've got a, there's a male. Yeah, see how my male and female are exactly the same on this one? That's because I got a bit excited and I must have clicked on save, not save as, when I changed it to male. Um, luckily, I had a problem with my computer and I've already done this before, so. Um, We'll just use this other example, <clears throat> and I'll place, I think that, the male one now, cool. I'm going to free spin this, or free rotate, so that's roughly where I want it. And then I'm gonna go constrain that center axis with that center axis because they're both cylinders. Should be able to pull that apart like that. And then I just look and go, well, what's common about them? Well, if I was to make the top of this peak constrained with the bottom of that valley, click OK and it should work. Now, there's my two parts connected to one another. If you wanted to do this for um, something practical in one of your assignments, you could put a bolt in here with a spring on one end and then um, an attachment on this end and an attachment on that end and you'd be able to rotate this part in 45 degree increments. Hopefully that helps you with your circular pattern